A very good evening everyone. Welcome to IS with Harihant. Student, as you know, every day at 9 p.m. we are discussing about the Indian polity and this series is basically considered as the prelims possible. And this series is going to be very, very beneficial for all students, those who are going to participate in any state PSC examination as well as for the UPSC examination. And students, uh, this session is designed in a such a way that is going to help you uh, in uh, understanding the chapter the building the concept along with that it will help you in the answer writing also now i'm going to tell you how it is going to help you in the answer writing and understanding this important concept and term in the constitution students so we are going to start this chapter okay and in the today's chapter we will discuss a very unique chapter that is basically union and territory means part one of indian constitution but before that student this uh, session is based on this book that is prelims possible and it is published by Arihan and this is going to be very beneficial for your examination okay and basically the, the basically uh, uh, this book has a tagline that is uh, this series will take you to the stage of mains student so yes it is very right uh, because this book has lots of feature like this book is divided into chapters and that chapter is divided into topic okay there will be MCQs and there will be topic based mind map Along with that students, there's a very great explanation that is also help you in the means along with that understanding and building the concept students. In the same format students, there is a knowledge plus for the typical questions and there's a 3500 plus PYQ bullets, okay, in the last of this book, okay. So we will uh, first understand the concept, okay, we'll first understand the mind map and what we are going to discuss today. And after that, we will go with the MCQs or you can say objective question. So uh, uh, today's uh, uh, we are going to discuss about the chapter number six and the topic is called as Union its Territory. If you see students, basically, uh, uh, basically the first topic of this chapter is constitutional provision and formation of new state. So, but before starting this, I just like to give a quick outline student as you know, our constitution was fully implemented on 26th of January 1950. At that time in our constitution students, initially we have 22 parts, we have 395 articles and we have at that time 8 scheduled students. Okay, But if you talk about today, till the time in our Indian constitution, 105 constitution amendments takes place and so if you talk about the number of parts increased to 25 Okay, but as you know, ki there are some few sub part is added. If you talk about the articles, the number is 395 only, but it increased to approximately 478 plus and the number of schedule is increased to 12 students. Okay, and we'll discuss about each and every part of Indian constitution and we will start with the first part of Indian constitution that is union and its territory students. What is union and its territory? Basically, if you see this map, this is our judicial, this is our territorial boundary where the, our jurisdiction and constitution is implemented okay so india creating a very huge boundary uh, land boundary approximately 1500 to sorry 15200 kilometer in the same format we are creating the coastal boundary also uh, coastal length approximately 75 uh, 16.5 kilometer students okay so as we have ocean coast also we have uh, land boundary also so uh, this is a big challenge for us as well as this is also a positive uh, uh, thing ki we have connectivity towards the means to the uh, uh, means word via the ocean also okay so where our jurisdiction implemented how many states we have how the new states are created and what are the provision related to that when a new state was created this type of question previously asked in your examination so first we'll understand the mind map and then we are going to discuss about the mcqs and that will help you give how you should prepare for your coming examination and what concept you should include in your uh, basically this preparation okay so just uh, begin with it so uh, as you know students part one of indian constitution it contain article from one to four and if you talk about article number one it says that india that is Bharat okay so India that is Bharat shall be union of state 
स्टूडेंट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन फ्यूचर ऑफ आवर इंडियन बेसिकली इन फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन चैप्टर यूनियन ऑफ स्टेट स्टूडेंट्स सी आवर स्ट्रक्चर इज फेडरल वी आर फॉलोइंग द फेडरल स्ट्रक्चर बट वी आर यूनिटरी इन स्पिरिट ऑल्सो ओके सो वी आर नॉट ट्रू फेडरल वाई एज यू नो कि वी हैव ट्वेंटी एट स्टेट एंड एट यूनियन टेरेटरीज स्टूडेंट्स एंड दीज ऑल आर क्रिएटेड बाई सेंटर ओके सो बेसिकली दिस इज क्रिएटेड फॉर द बेटर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओके सो सेंटर क्रिएटेड द स्टेट्स एंड यूनियन टेरेटरी बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इन यू एस ए दे आर कॉल्ड एज फेडरेशन ऑफ यूनाइटेड स्टेट ऑफ अमेरिका सो दे आर कॉल्ड एज फेडरल स्ट्रक्चर वाई बिकॉज इट्स स्टेट कम क्लोजर दे डिड एग्रीमेंट एंड दे मेड फेडरेशन बट इन इंडिया आवर यूनियन डिवाइडेड स्टेट सो वी आर इंडस्ट्रक्टिवल बिकॉज वी आर अ सिंगल यूनिट एंड वी जस्ट डिवाइडेड दिस स्टेट फॉर द बेटर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सो इफ यू सी स्टूडेंट्स आर्टिकल वन यूल फाइंड टू थिंग वन इज बेसिकली मैंशनिंग अबाउट द पॉलिटी ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज यूनियन ऑफ स्टेट अनदर दर इज अ नेम इंडिया एंड भारत सो दर इज अ टू नेम इंडिया इज अ इंग्लिश बेस्ड नेम एंड भारत इज अ हिंदी बेस्ड नेम स्टूडेंट्स सो इट वॉज इन बेसिकली न्यूज ऑल्सो कि वाई नॉट अ सिंगल नेम वाई डबल नेम ओके सो येस दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी ऑल्सो दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर यू पी एस सी एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो समटाइम दे आर आस्किंग कमेंट बेसिकली इन द आर्टिकल वन ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ओके सो दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग विल बी इन योर एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो सो इट इज ओके देर आर सम केसेज वे आर सुप्रीम को से दैट येस वी कैन हैव टू नेम्स इट डजेंट क्रिएट एनी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बट येस If you are going to follow single name, it will be okay. But yes, it is okay. We are following two names. That is also okay, students. Article two is mentioning about. Let's suppose tomorrow we want to create means basically uh, include any foreign territory in India. Okay, include any other territory than India. So who is responsible authority who can accept that state by accession by war winning? or maybe by uh, basically there is a people want to uh, be the part of india in that case who will be the authority who is going to approve to the other territory to be the part of india so basically article 2 mentioning about the same establishment of new state by parliament but it is very important other than indian territory okay so any foreign territory if you want to meet in india that is only done by article 2 article 3 is let's suppose we have a state that is i'm just going to give a very basic example a very recent state that is uh, andhra pradesh is divided into two part telangana plus andhra pradesh now so this division or this alteration this name or name change who is responsible to doing the change in or alteration in internal territory students so article 3 is mentioning about the internal territory the formation of new state alteration of area boundaries or name of existing state it is only done by parliament students so parliament will do this okay so this power is also lies in the hand of parliament article 4 another very important article it is mentioning that ki law made for establishment of new state by article 2 or alteration of boundary area of existing article 3 are not be the part of the constitutional amendment so you not need to do this and students this is also mentioning that if there is uh, any amendment takes place through article 2 and 3 there will be some changes in schedule number 1 and schedule number 4 schedule number 1 is mentioning about the name of state students so it is a list where the all state names are included so let's suppose you are going to create a new state it means that you need to include a new name in the same list, list students in the same format schedule number 4 is mentioning about the allocation of seats of rajya sabha so there is a seats of rajya sabha okay and it is divided according to the population it is not like usa ki every state getting the equal representation no we uh, divide our rajya sabha seats on the basis of population 
So let's suppose a new state is going to form. So there will be a share of the Rajya Sabha seat also because representation is required from each and every pro portion of India students. Okay. So schedule number one and four is also going to be changed if any change takes place via article two and three. Uh, students category of Indian state. Okay. One is called as first schedule state, state boundaries, acquired reason by the government. There are some territory which is controlled by the government of India students. Okay. Getting it. Now students, there are some special provision uh, given to approximately 10 state is there given to them for the better administration. Okay. I'm going to tell the name and this is going to be important. A special provision state and it is also mentioned under article 371 of Indian constitution students. I already told you uh, uh, when we are discussing about the uh, chapter number two and there was a schedule based topic students. So uh, if you see Maharashtra, Gujarat, Nagaland, Assam, Manipur, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Sikkim, Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh and Goa. These all are the state where some special provision given to them, some special power given to them for their administration. See, it is very important to understand multiple times this was asked in the examination. Bihar is not in the special provision, okay students, but they demanded it multiple times and uh, that's why you need to understand Bihar is not the part of the same under article 371 students it is not mentioned here okay so what you find students when our constitution was implemented on 26th of january 1950 at that time students you'll see ki, uh, we have four type of division in the state students one is called as part a where governor is ruling Okay, uh, part B, that is the part of princely state, part C, chief commissioner's province and part D was basically mentioning about the Andaman and Nicobar. But what you see students, there was an amendments or you can say there was a modification takes place in 1956. In 1956, there was a report that was called as Fajal Ali Commission report and it is also called as a state reorganization committee. Okay state reorganization committee and according to this committee students there will be a modification okay and now these four uh, type concept is dissolved by the seventh amendment and a part was removed part number seven with the article 238 it was removed and now this part is divided means basically state means india is divided into two type of thing only one will be considered as a state and other will be considered as union territory Okay, so after that students, we have some state at that time, we have 14 state and six union territory was created in 1956. I hope you all able to understand. Uh, see, I'm sharing this concept in a very simple language. So each and every person, each and every students who is preparing for the examination, he or she may understand whether you are preparing in uh, English medium, whether you're preparing in Hindi medium, it is going to help you in each and every sense of students. So there was some princely state, as you know, in 1947, after the Indian Independence Act, basically they made provision for, ki, okay, after independence, there will be two dominion, one will be Pakistan and other will be India. Okay. And there will be some princely state. If they want to go with the Pakistan, they can join Pakistan. If they want to go with the India, they can go with the India. If they want to be independent, they can be independent. So there was a, this concept is here. But what you find students, India are uh, trying to include the princely state also. So approximately 565 princely state was merged into the Indian uh, Union. So princely state were given three choices. You can join India. You can join Pakistan or you can be independent students. Okay. So uh, uh, basically students what you will find 549 princely state joined India. There was a three state. There was some uh, different method was adopted like Junagad. In the Junagad students are referendum. The referendum basically in Hindi it is called as Janmat Sangra where people will vote key what they want. They want to join Pakistan, they want to join India or they want to be independent. So by referendum, it is included into the India students. Okay, Hyderabad, here a military action was taken 
takes place uh, in the against of Nizam and Jammu and Kashmir sign an instrument of taxation in 1948 students with the Raja Hari Singh. So by this way, uh, all the territory was included in India and now we have 28 state and 8 union territory. So this is about the map students and this map is going to help you a lot because and just take a screenshot also because this map contain dates okay when these states was formed okay like Arunachal Pradesh 20th of February 1987 it was formed Nagaland 1st of December 1963 it was formed sorry Manipur it was formed on in 1971 21st of January Tripura on the same time Meghalaya on the same time to TMM okay it was created on 21st of January 1972 but if you talk about this Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh these two extreme state these was created in 1987 students okay why I'm telling you this because this is important here if you see Himachal Pradesh 25th of January 1971 this was the previous year question and they asked direct question from the same point students so I, I tell you one thing I recommend you one thing and I, I suggest you one thing you must include these things in your notebook in a means whenever you solve any question just try to note it down it will be helpful for your students I hope you all able to understand do you have any doubt just write down the comment box I am checking it okay everyone any doubt students and students that's why I tell you that this book is going to be important for you and see uh, I mean lots of features are there and as, as we are going to solve MCQs you will find yes I am means your your mentor is mentioning same same thing and right thing about this book students okay so we will start with the first question okay and just give the right answer for the same students what this question says that okay this question says that India is a it is a union of a state okay it is a, a federation or it is a confederation of a state or it is a unitary so if you talk about students article 1 of Indian Constitution what is suggest it says that India that is Bharat comma so basically in the first phrase they are mentioning about two things one uh, basically name of the nation in Hindi it is Bharat in English it is India okay so this is two important thing India that is Bharat is the union of uh, basically India that is Bharat it is a it is about the name of nation so you need to remember there is a two name India that is Bharat and then students there is another line India that is Bharat is a union of state so what does it means students it is about the polity of the nation okay so union of state okay so what we'll get you'll get the union of state a statement uh, means option number a is going to write for the same a uh, confederation of state is basically in ussr it was in russia federation is in usa students okay getting it simple very easy and very conceptual so i'm just going to give you explanation also it will make you uh, uh means uh, uh better for your answer writing okay so just go through it also it will be helpful for you okay so if you see basically here uh, answer uh, means answer a is correct explanation says that india is a union of state article 1 of the indian constitution describe india that is bharat as a union of state it means that india has a federal system of government with a unitary bias okay the system divides power between uh, the central government and the state government union of state if you are creating a state it means that you are going to share some power with them okay now see the next question question number two according to article one of the Indian constitution okay UPPCS pre 2008 question paper students so according to article one uh, India is group of state federation of state confederation of state or union of state so we discussed recently ki India that is Bharat it is mentioned under article 1 
and where it is mentioned that India is a union of state students. So I'm just giving you the explanation. According to Article One of the Indian Constitution, India is the union of state students. We already discussed it uh, about the same. Okay, I'm going to once again read this explanation for your understanding. Okay, Article One of Indian Constitution state that India, that is Bharat, shall be a union of state. The term union of state is preferred over federation of state. Why? Basically, in America, in America, basically, uh, this uh, federation is created by an agreement. But in India, there is no agreement among the state, okay, to create a federation. So what does it mean? It means that union created a state for the better administration. So state do not have right to seats from the union students. Indian Federation is indestructible union of destructible unit students. So union cannot be break. Okay, uh, basically union is indestructible. Okay, but yes, we have states for the better administration. It can be break. Getting it? Very simple. Now we are moving towards the next question. By which do you feel any problem? Okay, the questions are easy as it is just with the article 1. So that's why it is a little easy. So that's why we are moving fast. Okay, now which name or names in our constitution mentioned in the constitution in their students? It was in RAS 2003. Bharat and India. Bharat only. Hindustan and India. Bharat, Hindustan and India only. So as I told you, Article 1 of Indian Constitution, India, that is Bharat. So India, that is Bharat, it is mentioned under statement A or you can say option A of Indian Constitution students. Getting it? So our Constitution mentioned with the name of Bharat and India in the Constitution. Article 1 of the Indian Constitution states that India, that is Bharat, shall be a union of state. Okay, this deals with the two things, name of the country and what type of polity we are following. We already discussed about the same. This question was in M MPSC, Maharashtra PSC in 2019. Now consider the following statement and you have to choose the correct option. Okay, means if a statement is correct, then you have to choose it. Article 2 of the Indian Constitution relates to admission or establishment of new state which are not part of the Union of India. Article 2 of the Indian Constitution relate to admission or establishment of new state which are not part of India. Okay, so Article 2 is for the admission of uh, any state which is not included or which is not part of India. So this power is lies in the hand of parliament students. If you talk about article 3 of Indian constitution, Indian constitution provide for the formation of or change in the existing state including union territory. So article 3 is mentioning about the if parliament has right means parliament has right to modify existing state okay by article 3. So I think this statement is also correct. One is also correct. Bill under Article 3 of Indian Constitution shall be introduced on a Lok Sabha. No. Okay. It is not correct. Okay. So it can start from any place. It can start with any place students. Okay. So what you find a statement 1 and 2 is correct, but a statement 3 is incorrect. So now you have to choose. Uh, and you will see students option 1 where 1 and 2, they are mentioning it is correct. B says that 2 and 3 is correct. C says that only 3 is correct. D says that all of these correct. So A is correct for the same means a state means a statement 1 and statement 2 is correct for the same. Now see the state uh, basically this uh, explanation. Statement 1 and 2 are correct as article 2 empower the parliament to admit into the union of India or establish new state on such term and condition it thinks fit. So they can include any other territory with the some provision of power, means some power given to them. So there will be some limitation also. They, they can give some uh, special recognition to them 
uh, while they are including in India students. Article 3 of Indian Constitution says that a parliament to form a new state by separation of territory from any state or by uniting two or more state or part of state or by uniting any territory to a part of any state students. Statement 3 is incorrect because a bill under Article 3 of the Indian Constitution shall be introduced in any house of parliament with prior permission to the president of India students. Getting it? Simple. Okay. So, this bill can be introduced in any house and there will be permission. Prior permission will start from the president students. Okay. And uh, yes, uh, basically a state can give their recommendation but that is not a compulsory recommendation. Means it is up to the parliament if they want to accept then they will accept otherwise it is not forceful. Okay, now see the next question that is question number 5 and this was in UP lower PCS. If a new state is to be formed, which schedule of Indian constitution will be needed to amend it? If a new state is going to form, sh schedule number 5, as you know students schedule 5 for the scheduled tribal area and scheduled tribe. Okay, a schedule area and scheduled tribe. And uh, this is for the all state other than because in the sixth schedule students it is mentioned that Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram. Okay. Other than these four state will be included under fifth schedule of Indian constitution. Schedule number three is about the oath. Schedule number second is about the salary provision. And in the first schedule students there is a name of state and union territory so if a new state is going to form it means that you need to modify you need to include a new name of the state so option d will be correct for the same so first schedule of indian constitution deals with the list of state and union territory of india any change in the state and union territory of india are also mentioned in the schedule students article 1 to 4 came under the first schedule of indian constitution is he Okay, now you have to see the next question, question number 6, okay, and this was in Chhattisgarh PSC 2014. Indian Parliament has the power to create a new state under which of the following constitutional provision students. Okay, Indian Parliament has power to create a new state under which of the following provisional uh, provision students. Okay, so it is mentioning about creation of new state not about the admission so if it is creation of new state as you know article 1 is about the name and polity okay article 2 is about the parliament can include or can admit any other territory than india article 3 is about the it is about the creation of new state okay so new state by uh, dividing a state into two, by uniting two state into one, by altering the name. So this will be the right answer for the same. If you talk about article 4 students that is uh, mentioned, if any change takes place by article 2 and 3, schedule 1 and 4 will be changed. And for creation of new state, uh, no constitutional amendment required, very important point. <coughs> So for that purpose, you require just a simple majority, no amendment required under Article 368 of Indian Constitution. I hope you are getting it. Now see the explanation. Article 3 of Indian Constitution empowers the parliament to create new state and alter the areas, boundaries and name of the existing state by making suitable law. Okay. If you see the seventh question, who among the following has the executive power to admit a state in union or establish a new state now they're mentioning about any state so which branch which executive power parliament lok sabha political parties or central government so this uh, question was in multiple examination so as i already told you under article 2 we can admit any other territory than india under article 3 we can admit means we can create a new state by dividing ex existing state or by altering the boundary of existing state and these both power is lies in the hand of 
पार्लियामेंट स्टूडेंट्स एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज यू रिक्वायर्ड अ वेरी सिंपल मेजोरिटी वॉट इज सिंपल मेजोरिटी फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ प्रेजेंट एंड वोटिंग स्टूडेंट्स फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ प्रेजेंट एंड वोटिंग ओके गेटिंग इट सो आई जस्ट एडेड हियर द पार्लियामेंट हैज एग्जीक्यूटिव पावर टू एडमिट अ स्टेट इन द यूनियन और स्टैब्लिश अ न्यू स्टेट अकॉर्डिंग टू आर्टिकल थ्री ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पार्लियामेंट मे फॉर्म अ न्यू स्टेट बाई फॉर्म अ न्यू स्टेट बाई सेपरेशन ऑफ टेरिटरी फ्रॉम एनी स्टेट और बाई यूनाइटिंग टू बॉर और मोर स्टेट और पार्ट ऑफ स्टेट और बाई यूनाइटिंग एनी टेरिटरी टू अ पार्ट ऑफ ए स्टेट स्टूडेंट्स नाउ दे कैन इंक्रीज एरिया ऑफ एनी स्टेट दे कैन डिमिनिश द एरिया ऑफ एनी स्टेट दे कैन ऑल्टर द बाउंड्री ऑफ स्टेट एज वेल एज दे कैन ऑल्टर द नेम ऑफ द स्टेट ऑल्सो सो दीज ऑल पावर लाइज इन द हैंड ऑफ पार्लियामेंट एज यू कैन सी इन यूर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन स्टूडेंट्स इन लोकसभा बेसिकली अ बिल वॉज प्रजेंटेड फॉर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर टू फॉर द कन्वर्जन इन टू द यूनियन टेरिटरीज जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड लद्दाख So we'll discuss about that also. Thirty-first of October, two thousand nineteen, these two union territory came into existence by the division of Jammu and Kashmir students. Getting it? Now, here you need to see this question very carefully because they are they want to uh, know your conceptual clarity, your understanding. Okay. So Chhattisgarh PSC pre paper two thousand nineteen, you need to read this question carefully. Student, the consent of required for altering its boundaries according to constitutional provision okay the consent of now read from here the state legislature under the house the chief minister is the state is the state is not as i told you the center can seek a recommendation from the state but th what they are going to include it is it means it is double it does not depend on the recommendation they can check they can include it otherwise they can reject it so the consent of state is not required only parliament has sole right to divide a state alter the state okay so statement means option d is correct for the same and see this question is little tricky why because you need to understand the concept state is not required to for altering its boundary according to the constitutional provision students but as i told you students the consent of the state is not required for the altering its boundaries according to the constitutional provision so the president or the parliament is not bound by the view of the state legislature and may either accept or reject them even if the view is received on time so there will be a time limit given to them and what the recommendation state is going to give it is depend on parliament they want to accept it or not it is totally uh, this power lies in the hand of them okay now see the next question consider the following statement regarding the indian federation students this was in maharashtra psc 2015 article 3 of indian constitution empower parliament to create a new state alter their boundaries and even their names also the state does not participate in the amendment process as i told the students this power lies only in the hand of parliament okay so which of the following is going to be correct for the same just tell me students what will be the right answer for the same students easy i hope you all getting it it is simple it is easy so just choose the right answer both statement is correct so option number c is going to be right for the same students you getting it simple okay now see the explanation portion also both the statements are correct about the indian federation article 3 of the indian constitution provide for the formation of new state by parliament with the prior recommendation of president the state does not participate in the amendment process however it has to refer the same to the state legislature concerned for expressing its views within the specified period of time so state will not participate in the amendment process it is only the parliament who has right who has power to modify it 
आई होप यू ऑल गेटिंग इट सो यू पी पी सी एस टू थाउजेंड इलेवन नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट इन द मैटर ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू स्टेट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट इन द मैटर ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू स्टेट नॉट करेक्ट ओके सो दिस विल बी द की सो पार्लियामेंट मे बाई लॉ फॉर्म अ न्यू स्टेट आर्टिकल फोर प्रोवाइड दैट लॉ मेड अंडर आर्टिकल टू एंड थ्री शैल कंटेन प्रोविजन फॉर अमेंडमेंट ऑफ फर्स्ट शेड्यूल एंड फोर्थ शेड्यूल ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो इफ न्यू स्टेट इज गोइंग टू फॉर्म वन एंड फोर्थ शेड्यूल इज मॉडिफाई सच लॉ शैल बी पास बाई सिंपल मेजोरिटी इन पार्लियामेंट एंड कंसिडर एज अमेंडमेंट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अंडर आर्टिकल थ्री सिक्सटी एट पास बाई सिंपल मेजोरिटी एंड कंसिडर एज अमेंडमेंट ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अंडर आर्टिकल थ्री सिक्सटी एट नाउ डी सी इज दैट आफ्टर दैट आई एक्सप्लेन यू नो बिल फॉर इनएक्टिंग सच लॉ शैल बी इंट्रोड्यूस इन द पार्लियामेंट अनलेस इट हैज बीन रिफर टू द लेजिस्लेचर ऑफ स्टेट हुज एरिया बाउंड्री नेम इज गोइंग टू बी अफेक्टेड नाउ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्ट सी इफ यू सी द स्टेटमेंट सी सो सेज दैट बेसिकली इट सेज दैट सच लॉ शैल बी पास बाई सिंपल मेजोरिटी इट इज करेक्ट इन पार्लियामेंट एंड कंसीडर एज कंसीडर नॉट एज एन अमेंडमेंट अमेंडमेंट नॉट गोइंग टू टेक्स प्लेस हेयर there will be simple majority and that will be done by article 2 and 3 students so this is not an amendment so there is no amendment required for the same i hope you understand it now this uh, basically question number 10 option c is going to be right for the same and see students option c is not correct in matter of formation of new state as amendment under article 368 of the constitution article 3 lays down two condition in matter formation of new state one change can be introduced in parliament only with the prior recommendation of president and second before recommending the bill president has to refer the same to the state legislature concerned for expressing its views okay so it is just a quorum okay you can say quorum it is just a process okay so these both things are important now article 4 says that constitution state that law made for admission or establishment of new state under article 2 and formation of new state under article 3 are not to be considered amendment of the constitution under article 368 hence should be passed by simple majority as ordinary law getting it so this is about question and this is about the answer now you have to see the next question which among the following is not a constitutional provision for the formation of new state not a constitutional provision for the formation of new state increase the area of any state diminish the area of any state alter the name of any state and a state may be included a include a union territory which of the following is not a constitutional provision so as you know students parliament has right to increase decrease or alter the name these all included under article 3 a state may include a union territory this is not here okay so automatically answer d is going to be right for the same a state may include a union territory is not a constitutional provision for the formation of new state there is no provision for the formation of new state including union territory a union territory can be changed into state or a state can be reduced as a union territory okay recently like it was done with done in the jammu and kashmir students okay but there is no provision for inclusion of union territory within a state students i hope you all able to understand it so there is no provision ki basically union territory will be converted as a state only if it is going to be merged with the state okay it can be converted independently okay now see the next question and this was in up pcs pre 2020 which of the following is not possible by law of parliament under article 3 of the constitution i hope you all able to understand it and students i told you multiple time this questions are from this book that is prelims possible by arihan 
and i recommend you one thing this book contain lots of information a very unique information and very detailed information for each and every question so you must go with this book for your better understanding and for the better score and for your even i'm saying that it is going to help you in the mains examination also so which of the following is not possible by law of parliament under article 3 of the constitution formation of new state alteration of area of state admission of boundary of a state or admission of new state so students admission of new state it is under article 2 admission of new state means it is other than indian territory other than indian territory okay here the formation of new state formation means what we already have we are going to modify them but admission means we are going to include a very new and fresh so that is d is going to be right answer for the same admission of new state is not possible by law of parliament under article 3 of indian constitution it can only be possible by a law of parliament under article 2 of indian constitution article 2 of indian constitution state that parliament by law admit new state into the union of india on term and condition it deems fit article 3 of indian constitution state that the parliament can make law relating to the formation of new state and alteration of existing state students getting it simple now here the bihar psc pre 2016 creation of a new states require for constitutional amendment creation of a new state require what type of majority okay simple majority two third majority three fourth majority a two third plus ratification by half a state or none of the above or more than above students see it very carefully okay so if you are going to create a new state as i told you students we required simple majority Under under Article two and three, there will be no constitutional amendment. Okay, so this was in Bihar PSC. And students, what is simple majority? Let's suppose I am talk about Lok uh, uh, Lok Sabha. In Lok Sabha, five forty five members are there. Okay, and it is simple majority. In simple majority, there is a concept only fifty percent member agree and uh, present and voting. What is present and voting? the total strength of the house is 440 545 but let's suppose only 100% came when the voting was uh, 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 conducted and out of 100 only 80% voted uh, or you you can suppose all all 100 voted and what you find students 51 vote give uh, means uh, uh, got into favor and 49 in not favor so here this is a complete means this is called simple majority where only 50% present and voting required it doesn't means ki simple majority means it is 545 ka 50% no it is 50% of present and voting only two third now there is also the condition two third of house means if it is for the house then you have to count on 545 if it is present and voting so the person who will be there out of that 50% means 2 by 3 Three fourth, two third ratification of half the half of the state. So there is some provision where let's suppose it is passed from parliament that state means as we have twenty eighth state. So state legislative assembly also passed that bill. Okay, this is also required. So half of all state also need to means that is in some cases only. Okay, so option A is correct for the same. so creation of new state require a simple majority for the constitutional amendment the provision for creating new states and altering the boundary of a state are given under article 2 to 4 of indian constitution a simple majority and ordinary legislative process of the parliament is required for the creation of new state students now we are moving further to the next question up pcs mains 2015 which one of the following is empowered to alter the boundaries of state under the constitution of india empowered to alter the boundaries of state under the constitution of india so boundary can be modified by parliament lok sabha president 
and Supreme Court. So students, as you know, ki this power is mentioned under Article 3 of Indian Constitution. Parliament has the power to alter the boundary of a state, create a new state, as well as they can modify the name of the state students. I hope you are getting it. The things are easy. Uh, maybe it is going to be tough if you are concept means if your concept is not clear. So that's why I'm telling you multiple time. When the class starts, just follow from the first minute to the last minute students. Getting it? Now we are moving further. Okay. So the explanation here, parliament is empowered to alter the boundary of state. According to article 3 of Indian constitution, parliament by law alter the boundary of any state. The constitution state that parliament has the authority to increase or decrease the size of any state as well as change its boundary or name students. However, certain procedures must be followed by parliament in this regard. Only the president's recommendation, a bill enacting any or all the above changes can be introduced in either house of parliament students. We already discussed about the same. This question was in multiple question, multiple examination like Chhattisgarh, UPPSC, Bihar PSC and UPSC 2021. A bill for the purpose of creating <laughs> sorry okay I'm just repeating this question once again a bill for the purpose of creating a new state is uh, in India must be passed by so if you're going to create a new state so who has power parliament so a simple majority in parliament and ratification by not less than two third of the state a simple majority of parliament a two third majority of parliament and ratification by not less than two third of the state and he says that none of the above so what you find students as i told you for creating a new state you just required a very simple majority in the parliament and state participation is not required here so option b is correct a bill for the purpose of creating a new state in parliament must be passed by simple majority in parliament and bill can be introduced in either house of parliament it must be recommended by president of india students article 3 of indian constitution declared that law made for admission or establishment of new state under article and formation of new state under article 3 are not to be considered as amendments of constitution under article 368 we are moving towards the next question with reference to the federation or the federal federal system in india which of the following statement is or are correct up uppcs 2019 federal system of india which statement is correct state have no right to seats from the union under the constitution of india just advocacy of cis, basically secession will have the protection of freedom of expression read it carefully okay so i'm i'm just going to explain this explanation first and then i will come to the option see a uh, state cannot be separated from the union it is a very true answer and see the students uh, basically uh, basically indian federal system is the state do not have right to seats from the union under the constitution of india because India is not a federation of state, India is a union of state. Statement 2 is incorrect because advocacy of secession was made officially unlawful in 1961 with the passage of Unlawful Prevention Act that is UAPA students. Getting it? So the statement 1 is only correct. So only option A, only 1 is going to be correct. So this is about the one topic of this chapter students now we are going to the another topic of the uh, chapter and where we'll discuss about the basically there is lots of provision okay so let's start with the reorganization of state as i told you students our constitution was implemented on 26th of january 1950 at that time basically under part number seven of indian constitution article 238 states are divided into four type of things one was part a part b part c and part d so part a was 
गवर्नर स्टेट पार्ट बी वॉज प्रिंसली स्टेट पार्ट सी वॉज हाई कमिश्नरीज एंड पार्ट डी वॉज अंडमान एंड निकोबार स्टूडेंट दिस वॉज क्रिएटिंग लॉट्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सो देयर वॉज सम रिकमेंडेशन वॉज मेड एंड इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स बाई सेवेंथ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट ओके दिस पार्ट एट एंड आर्टिकल टू थर्टी एट वॉज रिमूवड एंड नाउ स्टेट इज डिवाइडेड मीन्स बेसिकली यूनियन इज डिवाइडेड इन टू पार्ट ऑनली यूनियन टेरिटरीज एज वेल एज स्टेट not princely state not governor state so for that purpose from time to time this a different recommendation was made by the different committees okay as you know students before independence our indian freedom fighter and indian national congress they said that ki after independence we are going to create state on the basis of language so there was a very huge demand among the बेसिकली uh, पीपल uh, after the independence कि we want a separate means we want a state on the basis of language students but what do you find uh, as Pakistan was created so uh, it was not possible if you are going to create a new state definitely there will be demand for once again a separate nation so for that purpose to check that कि is our country is uh, in right condition to uh, uh, means uh, to accept the demand uh, the language basis demand okay a commission was created under the justice sk dhar okay so justice sk dhar in 1948 this committee was created and this committee recommended that new state on administrative convenience rather than linguistic factor so you must not create state on the basis of linguistic factor otherwise it will create problem okay okay after that students this committee given report and it was not accepted by the many states so to read this report a committee was created jvp committee jawahar lal nehru vallabhbhai patel and patabi sitaramaiya these three uh, person was there and they said that ki now we are not going to create a state on the basis of language okay but as you know ki if i am going to commit something and if i am not going to fulfill that definitely there will be an anger okay in you students in the same format basically people are demanding continuously ki we want a state on the basis of language and in the same row students what you find in 1953 there was a person in madras okay so in madras there was a person named as poti shri rama mallu so he started a uh, fast unto death and after 52 or 56 day of the uh, fast students he was died he was asking for a separate state that is andhra pradesh and when he died students now at the, on the sudden basis in 1953 only on 1st of october basically center created first state on the basis of language that was andhra pradesh but let's suppose i am going to favor a student and not others definitely there will be partiality other will going to be angry on me so now once again a time came ki now we have to check it ki whether we are we are in condition to give this uh, uh, we can create this state on the basis of language or not so basically a committee was created under the leadership of fazal ali commission it is also called as a state reorganization committee commission there was three m- member okay one was fazal ali another was khunjru hedanath khunjru and km panikkar okay and this question was in uh, andhra pradesh psc last year also so three member was here and they recommended that ki yes uh, on the basis of unity and integrity of the nation linguistic and cultural so state reorganization financial and economic and administrative basis for the people welfare we can create a state on the basis of language but not only on the basis of language there must be if it is going to create unity and integrity in the nation then definitely you can create it so so state reorganization act 1956 so state reorganization act 1956 uh, they mentioned that uh, there will be 14 state and 6 union territory after this 
recommendation and after the seventh amendment students seventh amendment is also considered as the mini constitution sometime okay uh, uh, now here after the 1956 students if you see so initially we have 14 state and six union territory okay but if we talk about today we have 28 state and eight union territories so there was some modification takes place from time to time as you will see in 1956 for the first time after this uh, recommendation state reorganization recommendation gujarat and maharashtra was created in 1956 first of may uh, after the division of bombay nagaland came to known as 16th state in 1963 on first of december students and in nagaland on first of december to 10th of december uh, there is a event named as hornbill festival okay there's a state i mean there's an event known as hornbill festival okay haryana state was created in 1966 so basically there was three uh, means there was a nwfp uh, uh, and what you find students punjab haryana and uh, himanchal pradesh was created in 1956 it was divided okay and uh, himanchal pradesh was uh, means came into existence in 1971 25th of january this was the question also Karnataka state came into existence in 1973. Initially, it was Mysore. Sikkim got a status of a full state in 1975. Okay, and there was some constitutional amendment also takes place, and there was an article was created, Article 2A, but it was later removed. Just one year. Mizoram, Goa, Arunachal Pradesh, it came to known as a state in 1987. And students, what you see, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Uttarakhand. They came to existence in year 2000 after the division of Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, and Uttar Pradesh students. Telangana state was created in 19, sorry in 2014 after the division of Andhra Pradesh into two state students, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Okay, so this is also important as well as there are some committee who recommended this uh, basically. Uh, uh, basically this division that is also going to be very very important okay so these all points are going to be important for examination and we need to discuss each and everything students now here a special status to state uh, so for the state with the social and financial losses and there are some state like Assam, Nagaland, Himanchal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Sikkim, Tripura, Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh and uh, Uttarakhand these are the state where some special provision given to them okay and once again i just added this map for you for your understanding everywhere states and their formation date was means is mentioned you must go with it and you must read it carefully students very very important for the examination okay now we are going to discuss mcqs okay so as there is a very uh, first question okay and it will be important for your every examination whether you are preparing for any state examination whether you are preparing for bihar psc whether you are preparing for upsc students so this question says that bihar is an indian state was formed in in 1911 in 1912 in 1936 or in year 2000 if you talk about bihar students so initially bihar was the part of bengal so bengal was divided into two section east bengal and west bengal it was created in 1905 students and it was done by karjan okay later what you find later east bengal came to known as east pakistan okay and later it successfully became bangladesh okay west bengal was a very big territory it is divided into three uh, state basically uh, one was odisha other is west bengal only and then bihar and once again students what you find bihar is once again divided into jharkhand okay so this is a successive division and what you find the students basically this bihar was created in 1912 okay and this odisha was created in 1936 it's reorganization so 22nd of march we celebrate the bihar day okay and this is water day also okay so this day celebrated as water day also and in 1912 students what you find bihar came into existence okay 
from the division of West Bengal. This was in Bihar PSC and this question was multiple time there. So Bihar as an Indian state was formed on 22nd of March 1912 and carved only from Bengal through the Bengal, Bihar, Odisha and Assam law at 1912. On 1st of April 1936, Bihar and Odisha became a separate province from the Government of India Act 1935. On the 1st of April 1936, Sir James David uh, Sifton appointed first Governor of Bihar, whereas the Muhammad Yunus was declared as the first Prime Minister of State. In 2000, Jharkhand was carved from the Bihar and Jharkhand became a separate state on 15th of November students. Very important, just remember it. Now see the next question. Which of the following states of India was formed in 1948 students? So which of the following state is formed in 1948? So if you see students as our constitution was implemented on 26th of January 1950 fully and after that state was reorganized in multiple time in 1956 also in multiple time. So in 1948, see uh, West Bengal was there, okay, Assam was there. Okay, but we can't decide uh, the exact answer for the same. So none of the option is correct. Okay, at that time Indian state was formed in 1948. It was here, West Bengal, 26 January 1950, Assam 1950, Punjab 1947, Himachal Pradesh 1971, 25th of January. So in this format students, you need to understand the right concept and you must tackle in a, uh, uh, means in a such a way, you are not going to commit any mistake. Now see the next question. The Commission for Reorganization of State on the Basis of Language was established in the Commission for Reorganization of State on the Basis of Language. Okay, as I told you students, ki there was a continuous demand for the, uh, for the uh, uh, state on the basis of language and first state on linguistic basis. So first linguistic state was Okay, so it was Andhra Pradesh and it was created on 1st of October 1953 students. It is the first language or linguistic state that was created. Sorry, so it was the first state and after that students, maybe there is a problem or after uh, means uh, a new state creation arises. Uh, once again the other state will demand for the new state for that purpose a new commission was created that is called as Fajal Ali Commission okay it is also called as state reorganization commission and what you find students in 1956 this commission presented report and this says that ki, okay we can create state on the basis of language also but uh, it must promote the unity and integrity of the nation, social and cultural harmony, then we can create and better administration too. So Fajal Ali Commission, there was three member, okay, HN Kunjru, Hridanath Kunjru, Panikar and Fajal Ali, Justice Fajal Ali, okay. So I just started here, the State Reorganization Act 1956 came into effect on 1st of November 1956. This act recommended organization of boundaries, state based on the linguistic line. The State Reorganization Committee was appointed by Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru in 1953 December and Commission submitted report in 1955 September. So the report recommended, recommendation were debated in Indian Parliament and letter bill was passed to amend the constitution in their students. Okay, now see the next question. MPPSC pre-2004 as well as 2021. How many states and union territories were established in 1956? State Restructuring Act. Okay. So in 1956, how many states and union territory was created? As you know, okay, there was an amendment, the 7th amendment that abolishes part number 7 of Indian constitution, article 238 and there was a 4 type of parts, part A, part B, part C, part D that was abolished and only 2 concept was accepted or enshrined that was state and union territory. So how many states was there? 14 state and 6 union territory. 
एट स्टेट एटीन स्टेट और नाइन यूनियन टेरिटरी ट्वेंटी टू स्टेट और एट यूनियन टेरिटरी ट्वेंटी वन स्टेट और सेवन यूनियन टेरिटरी सो वॉट यू फाइंड स्टूडेंट्स बेसिकली स्टेटमेंट ए ऑप्शन ए इज राइट फॉर द सेम फोर्टीन स्टेट एंड सिक्स यूनियन टेरिटरी इज राइट आंसर फॉर द सेम स्टूडेंट जस्ट राइट रिमेंबर नाउ आंसर ए हियर ऑन द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ फजल अली कमीशन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया पास स्टेट रिओर्गनाइजेशन एक्ट नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड विच मेड फोर्टीन स्टेट एंड सिक्स यूनियन टेरिटरी it aimed to create more linguistically and culturally coherent state by redefining boundaries and administrative division students getting it now see the next question andhra pradesh was created as language based state in which year andhra pradesh was created as language based state in which year so if you see andhra pradesh is the first linguistic state okay 1950 1953 1956 and 1961 when it was created so if you see students it was created on 1953 on 1st of october getting it very simple so here some explanation we also added andhra pradesh was created on the basis of language in 1953 a 16th northern telugu speaking district of madras state were united to form a new state that was andhra pradesh as a result the bifurcation of madras provinces into two state in 1953 the new state of andhra andhra rashtram was formed hyderabad region telugu speaking area which referred to as telangana that left out in year 2014 students getting it now see the next question this question was in bihar psc pre 2018 so after independence in which year the indian state reorganization on linguistic basis was passed okay so 1947 1951 year 1956 and 2000 so we already discussed it via the mind map so it was 1956 by the fazal ali commission or state reorganization commission it was passed so after independence indian state were reorganized on linguistic basis in the year 1956 In August 1953, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru establishes the State Reorganisation Commission to examine the entire issue on restructuring of the State of Union. In November 1956, the State Reorganisation Act was finally approved by legislature, and it provided for 14 state and six centrally controlled area students. Okay. Now this con this uh, is another important question. It is a uh, based on a commission, a committee. so indian government set up the commission under the chairmanship of justice pc sa on 23rd of may 1966 to divide the existing punjab and determine the boundaries of new state haryana giving consideration to the language spoken by people justice jc sa on 23rd of april 1966 divided the existing punjab and determine the boundaries of new state haryana giving consideration to the language spoken by the people justice mp shah on 23rd of june 1966 to divide the existing punjab and determine the boundaries of new state haryana giving consideration to the language spoken by the people and justice jp shah 23rd of july now this is a date based data and if you know the right date if you know the right date definitely you can choose the right answer otherwise definitely it is going to be wrong okay so just choose the correct answer for the same students okay okay so see it is 23rd of april 1966 justice jc shah he divided the existing punjab and determined the boundary of new state haryana uh, uh giving consideration to the language spoken by the people so the statement b is correct for the same i'm just going to give you the explanation the indian government set up a commission under the chairmanship of justice jc shah on 23rd of april 1966 to divide the existing punjab and determine the boundary of new state haryana uh giving consideration to the language spoken by the people the commission was given task to determine the boundaries of new state as a result haryana the 17th state of india was created from the hindi speaking area of earlier state of punjab on 1st of november 1966 students so this is the some concept that you must remember now this question was in multiple examination which of the following was the state in india to be formed on the basis of language that is 
uh, in Uttarakhand examination in Madhya Pradesh in UPPSC. So which of the following first state that was formed on the basis of language basis. So first linguistic state was a student that was Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh or Uttar Pradesh. So you all know that Andhra Pradesh was created on 1st of October 1953. Okay, And it was created after the demand by the Telugu speaking people. So Andhra Pradesh was created. Okay, So here among the given option first state in India to be formed on the basis of ling language was Andhra Pradesh. This state was formed on 1st of October 1953 after the report of JVP Jawaharlal Nehru Vallabhai Patels and Patabhi Sita Ramaya committee. Sri Ramalu went on fast unto demanding the state and linguistic basis and died on 56th day of the fast unto death. And students, this movement started for the establishment of linguistic state or linguistic basic state and Andhra Pradesh was the first state of India that was formed on the basis of language students. Now see the ninth question. In which year were the Indian state reorganized on the recommendation of state reorganization commission? Recommendation of the state reorganization commission. It is 1950, sorry, 1947, 1951, 1956 or 1966 students. So in which year Indian state reorganized and this committee was created? It was created in, means this committee submitted a report in 1950 six students. So Indian state were reorganized on the recommendation of State Reorganization Commission 1956. The State Reorganization Act 1956 came into effect on 1st of November 1956. The act recommended organization of boundaries on the state based on linguistic line. State Reorganization Commission was appointed by Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru in December 1953 and they submitted report in 1955 and the report recommendation were debated in Indian Parliament later the bill was passed to amend the constitution okay on by the 7th constitutional amendment act another important data students north eastern area reorganization act was passed in which year 1981 1972 1970 or 1971 students. This was in Assam Public Service Commission when it was created students. So if you see the multiple state was created in 1971 year students. So 1971 act is basically North Eastern State Reorganization Act. So state was divided. So North Eastern Area Reorganization Act was passed in year 1971. The act provided for establishment of state of Manipur, Tripura. It also provided for the formation of state of Meghalaya and of the Union Territory of the Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh by reorganization of the existing state of Assam students. So this is some important data fact that you must remember. Okay. In 11th question, in which year did the State of Jharkhand came into existence 1988, 1999, year 2000 or year 2001. Student as you know ki Jharkhand was separated from Bihar. Okay. So it was separated on 15th of November and on the same day we are celebrating the Jharkhand day as well as this day is also considered Janjati Gaurav Divas and the year was year 2000 and year 2000 students Uttar Pradesh uh, created a new state that is Uttarakhand, Madhya Pradesh created a new state that is Chhattisgarh, and Bihar created a new state that is Jharkhand. Okay, so this year was year 2000 when a new state named as Jharkhand came into existence. Students, so Jharkhand came into existence on 15th of November 2000 by carving out from Bihar. The state was formed in year 2000 from the territory that had previously been part of Bihar. It was formed with the 18 district and formerly part of the Southern Bihar, which is known as known for the rich mineral, popularly coal and iron ore students. So it is the India's largest producer in the coal. Okay, now see the next question. One of the following statement is incorrect, point out. Okay, the state of Mysore was renamed as Tamil Nadu. Goa was separated from Daman and Diu. State of Bombay split into Gujarat and Maharashtra. Himanchal Pradesh was previously the part of the Union Territory. Student, as we already know, ki basically Tamil Nadu 
was came from the state that is Madras. Okay, so Madras came into Tamil Nadu, and Mysore came to known as Karnataka. Okay, so statement A is very right for the same. The statement A is incorrect. The state of Mysore renamed as Karnataka in year 1973. where state of madras was renamed to tamil nadu in 1969 goa was separated from daman and diu and given a full full statehood in 1987 and state of bombay was split in 1960 and divided into two separate state gujarat and maharashtra himachal was a union territory and made a full state in 1971 students getting it punjab psc pre 2014 Question number thirteen, students. Which of the following state joined the Indian Union after the conduct of special opinion poll in nineteen seventy-five? It is Manipur, it is Meghalaya, it is Goa, or it is Sikkim students. So, nineteen seventy-five. Our basically special opinion poll was done, and that was done for the Sikkim students. Okay. so an amendment was introduced so sikkim joined indian union after the conduct of a special opinion poll in 1975 under the british supremacy until independence 1947 after 1947 uh, sikkim became protectorate of india and in the matter of defense external affair and communication only few limited matter was there after prolonged political turmoil the referendum was passed in 1975 people of sikkim voted in favor of abolition of monarchy and accepted to the part of the indian union its students so that was accepted as the complete state okay which of the following constitutional amendment integrated sikkim as a full fledged state of indian union it was bihar psc and up psc who asked the same question okay which of the following constitutional amendment in uh, constitutional amendment integrated sikkim as a full fledged state students it is 34th 34th amendment 36 35 or 37th amendment students what is right answer for the same students okay just choose the right one so the full fledged state by 36th constitutional amendment act that was later uh, considered as unconstitutional simply you can say So Sikkim became the 22nd and full-fledged state of Indian Union by the 36th Amendment, 1975. The Act provides that Legislative Assembly of Sikkim shall consist of not less than 32 members and allotted one seat in the Council of State, one seat in the House of People, and 35th Constitutional Amendment Act, 1974, terminated the protectorate state. status of sikkim and conferred the status of associate state that was later supreme court removed the concept of associate state why because this is not in provisions so sikkim is an indian state which situated in the northeastern of union and has geographical area approximately 7096 km and what you find students uh, sikkim is the second smallest state of the india uh, the smallest one is goa then sikkim and then tripura so these are the smallest state so you can remember by the code gst now see the next question which state capital name has not changed after independence tamil nadu kerala uh, west bengal and andhra pradesh if you see students initially the capital of because this question was belonging to 2005 andhra pradesh now divided into andhra pradesh and now the capital of andhra pradesh new capital is there that is amravati and uh, telangana is here so before the division andhra pradesh capital was hyderabad and in, it was initially hyderabad only tamil nadu capital was renamed kerala capital tirunelveli i'm just going to uh, tell you the name of the andhra pradesh capital hyderabad was not changed during the question hour on the 2nd of june 2014 telangana came uh, as a new state and hyderabad made its capital while the new capital of andhra pradesh is vijayawada after independence students name of the capital like tamil nadu madras was changed to chennai west bengal capital calcutta uh, to kolkata and basically thiru anantapuram from trivandrum so this was the previous name now it is modified now see the next question the number of indian state after the formation of telangana 
will be so it is 2013 question paper now it is modified now we have 28 state and 8 union territory when telangana was formed telangana was the 29th state of india but this is the uh, now the things modified okay so telangana became the 29th state of union of india in 2014 currently we have 28 state and 8 union territory students just remember it now which of the following state has never been guaranteed special category status by the central government bihar psc 2019 okay so bihar sikkim himachal pradesh and jammu kashmir never has guaranteed special category status so student special category status is not given to bihar okay i told you and you have to remember this in fact format also because multiple times this question was asked so special category status was never guaranteed to the cent by the central government to the bihar the concept of special category status was first introduced in 1969 by the fifth finance commission tried to provide certain disadvantaged state with the preferential treatment in the form of central assistance so some specific uh, fund will be given to them and parameter needed for a state to be guaranteed special category including hilly difficult terrain low population density strategic location along the border with the neighboring country economic and infrastructure backwardness and non viable state finance students okay now there's another question uttarakhand state was created in which year okay another very important data students just stop the right answer uttarakhand state was created in which year in year 2000 uh, 1999 2000 2001 or 2002 uttarakhand was initially known as uttaranchal okay and it was separated from uttar pradesh on 9th of november year 2000 students okay later in year 2007 the name came to known as uttarakhand because people was not satisfied with the same okay so uttarakhand state was created in year 2000 along with the two states chhattisgarh and jharkhand and it was the 27th state of india under the hilly region okay now see here uh, the state of Uttarakhand came into existence on which of the following dates? So we already discussed it was 9th of November year 2000 Uttarakhand came into existence. See dates are also very important. This was in Uttarakhand PSC very recent question paper 2022. So Uttarakhand formed on 9th of December sorry 9th of November 9, 2000 and it was the 27th state of India and it carved out, of, uh, carved out from the northern Uttar Pradesh. Uttarakhand is located in the foothill of Himalayan range and is largely a hill state having the international boundary with the China, North, Nepal in the East students. Now, Uttaranchal Change of Name Act came into existence in which of the following year students. See, the name was changed in year 2007, but this act was passed in December 2006. And this is a question, Uttarakhand PSC 2016 students. So on 21st of December 2006, an act to alter the name of a state Uttaranchal and name officially changed from Uttaranchal to Uttarakhand on in January 2007 students. Now see the next question. And this was in UPPCS means 2008. Consider the following statement and select the correct answer by using the code given below. The term union of state has been used in the constitution because Indian state have no right of separation union of state okay now SK Dhar commission have given preference to administrative convenience rather than language for the reorganization of the state Congress committee include Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Patabi Sita Ramaya was not in the favor of state reorganization on the basis of language so if you read it student our states don't have right to seat from the basically the union okay so it means that statement one is correct sk dhar recommended that ki we must see the administrative convenience not divide state on the basis of language and gvp committee was a separate committee and state coordination committee uh, that was let means that was letter for formed in 1953 there's a three different member and this gvp committee recommended that ki we can't create on the basis of language states so all the above option is means the statement is correct all the given statement are correct as article 1 of the constitution describe india as a union of state according to dr b r ambedkar as a union 
is inseparable because it was the result of an arrangement among state so the word of union is referred over the federation and also stated that state don't have right to separate from the union or seats from the union askidhar commission appointed in june 1948 recommended the state reorganization should be done primarily on the basis of geographical continuity and financial self sufficiency and ease of administration it had given preference to the administrative convenience rather than language for reorganization of the state the congress committee comprised of jawaharlal nehru sardar vallabh bhai patel and in, in addition to congress president patab bhi sita ramaiya they, they rejected that ki state reorganization on the basis of language okay now see the read read the next question read the following statement with reference to the state reorganization commission 1953 and choose the correct option justice fazal ali k m panikkar and hriday nath h n kunjru were the member of state reorganization commission the commission supported split of bombay and punjab as per the state reorganization act 1956 was passed in parliament there was 14 state and 6 centrally administered state students what is a right answer for the same if you see this commission not mentioning about the splitting of bombay and punjab this is for the complete state statement 1 is correct because there are three member in the state reorganization commission and these three names are also very important and according to them now when act was passed there will be 14 state and 6 centrally administered state or union territory was formed so there was means there is one option 1 uh, statement 1 and 3 is correct so option d is going to be right answer for the same getting it simple students so we already stated all now see the next question question number 23 okay explanation we already discussed okay now which one of the following is correct chronological order in the formation of indian state students chatisgarh arunachal pradesh jharkhand and sikkim when these states was formed this type of question you have to do here okay so just opt the right answer for the same students okay if you see chatisgarh was created in year 2000 first of november Arunachal Pradesh was created in 1987 Sikkim was created in 1975 and Jharkhand was created in 2000 on 15th of November and this is on 1st of November now if you see so Sikkim is the oldest then Arunachal Pradesh and then Chhattisgarh and then Jharkhand so statement uh, means option b is going to write for the same students so the correct chronological order formation given of the state four to means this is one thing sikkim became full fledged state in 1975 arunachal pradesh in 1987 chatisgarh in year 2000 and uh, jharkhand in year 2000 15th of november okay so this is important now once again which one of the following is a correct chronological order of the confirmment of full statehood of union territory Uttar Pradesh PSC 2014, Haryana PSC. Sikkim got the full fledged state status in 1975, Arunachal Pradesh in 1987, Nagaland in 1963, and Haryana in 1966. So you have to check it. Ki all these four options are same, and arrangement is different. So what you find Nagaland is the oldest one, then Haryana, then Sikkim, and then Arunachal Pradesh. option b is going to be right for the same students so nagaland was formed on uh, 1st of december 1963 okay haryana was formed in 1966 sikkim was formed in 1975 arunachal pradesh was formed in 1987 students now consider the question number 25 consider the formation of following state and arrange these in the chronological order goa telangana jharkhand and haryana this was in uppcs you have to arrange in sequential order Goa was created a complete state in 1987, Telangana in 2014, Jharkhand in year 2000, and Haryana in 1966. So what you see, four, one, two, sorry, four one three two. So four one three two is uh, option B is right for the same. We already discussed. कि हरियाणा वाज़ फॉर्म्ड इन 1966, गोवा वाज़ एक्वायर्ड बाय पोर्टुगीज़ इन 1961 एंड 
created as a union territory till 1986 and in 1987 it came into existence as a complete state 25th state of india jharkhand was created in 2000 and telangana was created in year 2014 students a uh, correct sequence for the formation of state <coughs> in descending order maharashtra 1960 rajasthan 1950 only and reorganized 1956 haryana 1966 सो इफ यू सी डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर मीन्स घटते हुए क्रम में सो वेरी रिसेंट और वेरी न्यू दैट इज हरियाणा एंड देन महाराष्ट्र एंड देन राजस्थान सो वॉट इज गोइंग टू राइट आंसर फॉर द सेम स्टूडेंट्स बेसिकली स्टेटमेंट नंबर डी हरियाणा वॉज क्रिएटेड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स महाराष्ट्र वॉज क्रिएटेड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी एंड राजस्थान वॉज इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी एंड री ऑर्गनाइज इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो हियर वी जस्ट एडेड the correct sequence the formation of the given state in descending order is haryana maharashtra and rajasthan haryana was carved out from the hindi speaking state that is punjab 1966 17th state of indian union in 1960 state of maharashtra just give me a second okay everything is okay students great okay in 1916 a state of maharashtra came into existence after the bifurcation of this existing state bombay into two uh, 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 state that is uh, uh, basically gujarat and maharashtra okay so just try to remember rajasthan was reorganized in 1956 students okay okay now we have the third topic of this chapter that is union territory so introduction seventh constitutional amendment act created a union territory concept and there is a eight union territory okay okay so andaman and nicobar it was created in 1956 and it was existing already lakshadweep pondicherry chandigarh jammu and kashmir ladakh dadar nagar haveli and daman and diu it was initially separate union territory but on 26th of january 19 sorry 2020 both are merged okay now see the a uh, uh, constitutional provision so there will be a part 8 for the union territory and article 239 to 241 is dedicated for the union territory students okay so i'm going to discuss some important acts like 69th constitutional amendment act 1991 changed the name of delhi to ncr national capital territory nct delhi it is called as and jammu and kashmir reorganization act was passed in 2019 for the creation of two union territory after the division of jammu and kashmir so now see the questions okay which of the following is a not a union territory students it is andaman and nicobar daman diu goa and pondicherry initially what you find goa in 1961 it was included as union territory but in 1987 goa became a full state okay so option c is correct for the same okay so goa is not a union territory goa was acquired in india in 1961 i mean 62 as a union territory later in 1987 it it came it got the full statehood presently eight union territory in india they are chatis uh, basically chandigarh dadar nagar haveli daman diu uh, lakshadweep pondicherry andaman nicobar and nct delhi jammu and kashmir and ladakh these are the territory just remember it delhi is an state delhi is an union territory autonomous council or none of the above so what you find students delhi is an union territory okay it was the, this is a question in bihar psc multiple time okay now which is the largest union territory of india daman diu pondicherry delhi and chandigarh now these all are the very small union territory students out of these uh, delhi is the biggest one and it has area approximately 1484 square kilometer other are very small like if you talk about Andaman and Nicobar only six hundred three. Sorry, Daman and Diu six hundred three kilometer square. Pondicherry four seventy nine kilometer square, and Chandigarh is only one hundred seventeen kilometer square. Now, by which constitutional amendment act Delhi was got a status of NCR National Capital Region Delhi NCR Delhi students. Okay, so just stop the right answer. It is by sixty seventh, sixty ninth, sixty eighth, or seventeenth. So by 69th Constitutional Amendment Act 1991, it came to known as NCR Delhi. Okay, so NCR. Okay, as per the provision of the Article 239A, a state government of Delhi can make law whole or part of any city as subject mentioned in the state or concurrent list, except like 
पब्लिक ऑर्डर पुलिस एंड लैंड लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर इज कंसिडर द सेंटर्स रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ दिल्ली स्टोरी नाउ सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर इज नॉट मैच इन द टर्म ऑफ पावर ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट to make regulation for certain union territory under article 240 of indian constitution this was in rajasthan psc students 240 clause 1 clause c for pondicherry 240 clause 1 clause c for lakshadweep 240 clause 1 clause d for damandeep and 240 clause a uh, clause 1 clause a for the uh, this uh, andaman and nicobar okay so if you see students ओके सो बेसिकली वॉट यू फाइंड दे आर आस्किंग की विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेर इज नॉट करेक्टली मैच इन द टर्म ऑफ पावर ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट सो दिस इज आर्टिकल टू फोर्टी क्लास वन क्लास डी इज मैंशनिंग फॉर द डमन एंड दीव ओके इट इज नॉट करेक्ट ओके ओके इट इज फॉर द दादर नगर हवेली नॉट फॉर द डमन एंड दीव गेटिंग इट ना विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट आई एम लिटिल फास्ट जस्ट एल मी ओके सो इट वॉज इन यू पी एस सी टू थाउजेंड Goa got statehood in 1987. You say, sir, it is correct. Diu is an island of Gulf of Khambat. Daman and Diu are separated from Goa by the 56th Amendment. Okay, and uh, Dadar Nagar Haveli was under the French colony. Dadar Nagar Haveli till 1962. Dadar Nagar Haveli. It was the territory of uh, basically Portuguese. Okay. so above three are correct and this is incorrect 1964 this is incorrect so i uh, hear the knowledge plus also they included it was the first position to be detached from the colonial empire by integration with the indian union in 1956 after nearly two century of the colonial rule students now there is another question and as you know students i always try to give the last question as a homework so you have to give this answer in the comment box but i will give you outline okay you have to match list 1 to list 2 select the correct answer from the code given below list 1 union territory list 2 the creation of state lakshadweep when created in which year daman deep chandigarh dadar nagar haveli when it was created so you hear the codes and you have to uh, match the following answer student this is all about this chapter we completed this chapter and uh, this book uh, this book is going to be very beneficial and this chapters is totally based on this book students lots of features contain this book 100% error free detailed explanation that will also help you mains knowledge plus with the typical question pyq bullets for revision and free package chapter test uh, the the book is available in uh, for the history for the polity for the geography for the economy and for the general sciences so this will be going to beneficial thank you so much for joining and listening students we'll meet soon take care have a great day i hope everything